Trump has also provoked the ire of the media in recent days for suggesting that flag burning should be criminalized. Um, here he is a few days ago talking about this. Watch. We're going to be smart. We're going to listen to Tom Emmer and Pete and all of the other. You got great people in this group, I tell you. You have great people. And we do not need more people who want to burn our flag. I watched yesterday and the day before. They're burning our American flag. And I said, I know they say it's unconstitutional. Well, make it not unconstitutional. You burn our American flag, you should get immediately mandatory one year in jail. So he says one year in jail, um, and uh, the crowd liked it. Lots of people, though, in the media and and, uh, so on are freaking out over it. And the people freaking out over it are are right about one thing, which is that a law like that could never actually be passed. It would be shot down by the courts in like 10 seconds flat. Uh, It would stand no chance. But with that said, let me just say a few things in Trump's defense on this issue. First of all, I would much rather have leaders who are, if anything, overzealous in their defense of and love for the flag. I'd rather have leaders who err in that direction than in the other direction. To me, that's not a bad thing at all. Uh, A leader who loves the flag that much that they'd like to make it illegal to burn, even if they can't, but that's what they would like to do because they love, to me, that's a good, that's that is a, that, that is, that's good. And I'd always like to have you err on that side. Um, the problem on, on the other side is that, you know, they'll, they'll say you can't make flag burning illegal because of, for constitutional reasons. They don't care about the constitution. They don't care about the constitution at all. The reason they support burning the flag, uh, or the right to burn the flag is that at best, they just don't really care. Like it doesn't make them angry. When Trump sees someone burning the flag, it makes him, it makes him angry. It makes him deeply angry as it should. But on the left, and especially politicians on the left, when they see that, they don't, at best, they feel nothing. They just don't care. So it's easy for them to say, oh, no, yeah, you got the constitutional right to do that. But they just don't care. Um, and really, a lot of them, re- it's, it's worse than not caring. They support it. They like to see the flag burned. So uh, I'd rather see you err on that side. Second, more importantly, and I don't know why this isn't being pointed out more often, but um, I'll just say this again, because I pointed it out. In almost every context where the flag is burned, you can already and should arrest and imprison the people responsible for it. And you could do it in a way that is completely constitutional. So take the protesters who burned uh, the flag uh, during the Netanyahu speech, which is what Trump was referring to. You don't need a law against flag burning to put those people in jail. None of them are in jail right now, by the way. I think a few of them, from what I read, were charged with something and released immediately. And uh, I, I think the charges were dropped. I, I, don't, I don't, as it stands right now, I'm not sure that anybody has gotten any, re, has any charges that actually were put on them and stuck. Um, but you don't need a law against flag burning to put those people in jail. They've already broken like a dozen laws. Okay. For one thing, they're burning a flag that is not theirs. That's a crime. They've confiscated property that isn't theirs. That's theft. They have destroyed property that isn't theirs. That's vandalism. They've deliberately set fire to someone else's property. That's arson. Um, They burn the flag in the middle of a city on the sidewalk outside of a federal building. That violates multiple laws right there. Okay, look up the, uh, you can look up the the Washington, D.C. fire code. Just skim through it. It's, it's, it's multiple, you could find all kinds of crimes that they committed in, in there. Uh, starting with, uh, starting a, you know, recreational fire 20, within 25 feet of a, of a structure, um, of like a building, which is what they did. So, and then there's permits you need to get if you want to, if you want to do any kind of burning at all, you have to get permits. I'm sure they didn't get any permits for this. So the point is, the fire code alone in a place like D.C. is very detailed and extensive. And I guarantee that the burning of the flag was not in accordance with the fire code. 
So you can hit them on that. Are you still struggling with back taxes or unfiled returns? The IRS is escalating collections by adding 20,000 new agents and sending millions of demand letters. Handling this, this alone can be a huge mistake and cost you thousands of dollars. In these challenging times, your best offense is with Tax Network USA. With over 14 years of experience, the experts at Tax Network USA have saved clients millions in back taxes. Regardless of the size of your tax issue, their expertise is your advantage. Tax Network USA offers three key services, protection, compliance, and settlement. Upon signing up, Tax Network USA will immediately contact the IRS to secure a protection order, ensuring that aggressive collection activities such as garnishments, levies, or property seizures are halted. If you haven't filed in a while, if you need amended returns, or if you're missing records, Tax Network USA's expert tax preparers will update all your filings to eliminate the risk of IRS enforcement. Then they'll create a settlement strategy to reduce or eliminate your tax debt. The IRS is the largest collection agency in the world, and now that tax season is over, collection season has begun. Tax Network USA can even help with state tax issues. For a complimentary consultation, call today at 1-800-958-1000 or visit their website at tnusa.com slash Walsh. That's 1-800-958-1000 or visit tnusa.com slash Walsh today. Don't let the IRS take advantage of you. Get the help you need with Tax Network USA. So look, sure, if someone goes in their own backyard, here is, here's a situation where if somebody burns the flag, you can't really touch them. You can't do anything about it legally. Um, it's if they purchase their own flag and they go in their backyard um, in conditions where it's safe to burn something. It's not too windy. It's not, you know, there, there's not a no burning ordinance because they're in the middle of a drought or whatever. Uh, and they're, you know, they're, they're, they're clear of any structures, or anything else. They put the flag in a fire pit and they set it on fire and maybe they film it. Okay. In that scenario, yeah, you can't, there's, not, you, there's, there's no crime that was committed and uh, you, you could arrest them. They're going to immediately get out of jail and then they'll sue you and they'll win. Um, but here's the thing. Nobody burns the flag that way. That's not how the flag is ever actually burned. If it, if it happens, it's always in a context like what we saw in those videos a few days ago. It's at a rally. It's in a protest. It's, people are angry. They're doing this. They're doing it in front of other people. They're doing it for show. You know, um, very often it's not their own flag they're burning. So there are all, all kinds of crimes you could charge them with. You just have to do it. In other words, I'm saying we should approach American, we should approach the people who burn the American flag the same way that authorities already approach those who burn the pride flag. Now here also, okay, if you go on Amazon, and I'm not, I'm not encouraging this, but I'm just spelling it out. I'm just saying. It's not encouragement. I'm simply saying that let, let's just say you were to go on Amazon, purchase a pride flag. They've got all kinds of pride flags on Amazon that you can buy. Um, and, and, then, uh, and then you were to go into your backyard, uh, s- clear of any structures, right? Put the pride flag in your uh, fire pit. Maybe douse it with a little bit of lighter fluid. Let's say you were to do that. And then you set the the pride flag on fire and you watch the glorious flames consume it. And you, you, you film it. Well, if you did that, yeah, they're, they would love to charge you with crimes. They really can't. There's nothing they can charge you with. Um, because you haven't broken, you, there's no law. You haven't broken any law. So they probably can't get you. They, they'd like to, but they probably can't. So burn away. In that scenario, not encouraging, I'm just saying, in that scenario, you, 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 know, you would be legally within your rights. But on the rare occasion when someone actually burns a pride flag, they don't usually burn it that way. It doesn't happen often. But every once in a while, you hear cases of someone burning a pride flag and usually when it happens, it's, it's, it's the flag's being burned publicly. Uh, the person burning it didn't necessarily purchase it themselves. Um, and, and, you know, and that sort of thing. So there are other crimes technically committed. So what do the authorities do in those cases? Well, they throw the book at the flag burner. They don't charge them with the crime of burning a pride flag because that's not a crime. There's no law that says you can't do that. Instead, they just look at this and say, we are going to find every last crime we can that you arguably committed, and we're going to hit you with all of them. And we're going to go for a max sentence on all of them. 
Now, why are they doing that? They're doing it because you burned a pride flag. But you can't prove that. You can't prove that that was their motivation for hitting you with all these charges. And you technically violated all those laws, so you're screwed. Um, this is what we should do with the American flag. But instead, we do it with the pride flag. Right? We, we could have that kind of seriousness about protecting the American flag. That, yeah, if you do it in the, in the, in the limited circumstance I described, backyard, your flag, all that, uh, we, we can't do anything. But if you venture outside of the regulations here and laws at all, we are going to come down hard on you. And we're going to, and, and yeah, if we can, if we can put you in prison for a year for burning the American flag, we'll do it. And those people who did it during the, you know, the, the protest a few days ago, all, you could, you could put them in jail for months, if not years. If you hit them with every crime they committed and you threw the book at them on every single crime and you went for the max sentence on every crime. But that's not what happens. The authorities don't do that. You burn the American flag, you committed all kinds of crimes technically in the process, eh, they'll let it go. They don't care. You burn the pride flag, they're not going to let that go. They're going to look for the crimes and they're going to find them. Um, why is that? Well, because the, the people that run, the, the powers that be, the authorities in this country, they view the pride flag as our nation's flag. They're much more interested in protecting the pride flag than they are the American flag. And, um, and that's how they go about it. But they're also smart enough to know that, you know, they, they don't need to go try to pass some uh, law saying you can't burn a pride flag. They don't need to do that. They can still put you in jail for doing it. They'll find another way to do it. Um, and we could do the same thing with the American flag. It just takes, you know, just, it just takes, just enforce the laws that are already there. There are a lot of laws on the books. And enforce them. If you'd like to see what else I have to say, you can access my full show by going to dailywire.com or by going to the Matt Wall Show Twitter page. Hope to see you there. Godspeed.